we are going into game two of this best of three in Antec Attack number 18. It is between... No, 19. 19. Number 19. 19. It is between <laughs> Lush, who plays for Millennium, and Empire's Happy. It is a ZVT, and the map is Cloud Kingdom LE. Um, I am SC2 England, and my lovely co-caster is Puri. Say hi, Puri. Hey guys. Um, just for anyone wondering, we're just waiting for the game to load. Obviously, one of the it's a online tournament, so there's quite a few people in this game. Obviously, someone has a stone computer. They do. Which is a bit of a shame, because for anyone watching on the void, you've just got like my splash page just sitting there waiting at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and for the viewers, you're just looking at the the board. But we're going. This is good. So we are going into game two, as I said. Um, Happy is the yellow Terran in the lower left position, and Lelush is the red Zerg in the top right. This map doesn't have any supply depots on the ramp to the no. main. Um, although that shouldn't matter too much. And well, if you're watching on VODs and you haven't seen game one, go and check it out. It's an awesome match. Um, Don't ask me to see what happened because my mind will explode. Has it gone? No, no. I mean, like that game was pretty epic and it was there was a lot going on and it, it wasn't everything seemed standard but for some reason the game just seemed very crazy and erratic would you like me opinion. to sum it up in if you in, you could try as, yeah. as quick as I can. <laughs> so basically happy got a quick expansion so did the lush lush tried to take a fast third did manage to secure it then got stuck on three bases there was drops every other those infestors there was zergings there was upgrades then there was tanks and then the tanks were taken out by infested terrans and a bad move and then everyone was like lush is gonna win and then the lush didn't push and then happy got more tanks and managed to hold it and then the lush was like i'm trying to expand everywhere but happy was just everywhere picking off everything and basically <laughs> Basically, Happy just through sheer expansion denial was like, lol, I play Terran, I don't need a fourth base. Um, and then just went and killed him. And the Lush was like, sad face. That that's, was. That's pretty wasn't much that true. quick, actually, but that was very well said. <laughs> that was the quick uh, sum up of it. <laughs> yeah. My favourite bit was there was expansions everywhere, and then Happy was everywhere, killing everything. <laughs> it was just like, could it be any more like. Uh, universally spoken. <laughs> to be fair, that is what happened though. <laughs> like, Pretty much. That, that's Lelush why I was like. Took like at one point, wasn't he taking four expansions at once, or was it three? It was three a minimum. Yeah, he was like expanding in three places at once, and Happy was just like, "Well, I'm gonna go and kill them all." Lush <laughs> just kind of yeah. sat there without being able to do anything about it, which is pretty me. much. But anyway, Puri, what do you reckon Happy's gonna do in this game? <laughs> well, we're. A little bit into the game, we do have the hatch first and then followed up by Paul. He doesn't have gas, so he's not going to be getting anything like speed or bainings or no early aggression really coming out. Um, last game he did get his gases pretty late as well, so I expect the same thing. Happy, on the other hand, is near enough doing exactly the same thing thus far. The Just biggest give yeah, the biggest giveaways really are for a Terran the gas count, which is going down now, and the second gas is going down now. So there's a big giveaway because obviously two gases at this time means he will be taken very fast into something. This is probably going to be Reactor Hellions. Seems that it's still fairly standard. Lalush, on the other hand, is natural just pops his pool finishes and two queens are now in production. So this is all so, so normal. Yeah, so th thus far this is pretty much uh, identical to last game. How long was the last game? It was like, it must have been at least... It was about 30 minutes, yeah. 35 minutes. Something like that. It was a good game. Very, it didn't uh, seem that long. Like, I think it's just, it kind of stayed in the mid-game phase forever. <laughs> that is very true. It was very, um... Like, it was very crazy game. It was like... It was very unorthodox, but at the same time, pretty standard. There's just something odd about that. I can't put my finger on it. Uh, the factory is now in production, and the reactor will be thrown down on top of the barracks now to swap them over. Okay, that bunker it. down in a very forward position, so um, happy yes. being slightly more forward to that bunker compared to the last game, which was in a very defensive position. Um, That's a point to make. The one I'm interested to see is in game one of the lush, he walled off his natural with the two queens, a spine, two spines, and two evos. I'll be interested to see if he does the same thing again. Um, because obviously he wants to try and secure his third as quickly as possible, especially when he knows that command center was down so soon. There's um, a high chance of that. On this map, like the ramp, uh, you know, the the choke between your your natural and towards your third is a little bit smaller, so it would probably take less buildings. 
But it's nice to have spines there, especially because it's right next to your base as well. Yeah. I was just going to say to everyone, if you do want to watch Game 1 and you haven't seen it, it will be uploaded to my channel um, over the week. I've got the VODs. I'll cast any games in the grid stage, so quarter, semis, which we don't cast as well. And that's youtube.com forward slash maddles91, which is M-A-D-A-L-S 9-1. Um, the other shout I was going to do was add me Imperi on Twitter, and then you can tweet us if you're enjoying yourself. Yes. Um, which would be awesome. Oh. So and, and we're pretty friendly people, so we'll Ooh. happily respond. I, like I, I'm actually one of the people I, I follow everyone who follows me. So <laughs> you're just the one. Who, gonna... You love that follow button, don't you? <laughs> it's just like show the love, man. Care enough to follow me, I'll follow you back. <laughs> so I'll give you a shout for those. They should be up on screen um, for everyone. So whether you're watching this on VOD, it should be on mine down where I'm waving now with my mouse. And on Puri's, it should be up as well. But to shout out is um, Puri is at Puri Dude, which is P-U-G-H-Y-D-U-D-E. And mine is SC2 underscore England. So do check us out. Yep. And as we jump from that back into the game, because of course sometimes, guys, games run a bit slow. So we like to spice it up a little chat. Uh, Lalash has done that wall off. He hasn't added any spines, but he has a very sick wall. And because of this slightly smaller, I believe like Hellions can't get past that. Nope, without they cannot the get through. In the meantime, from Happy, we actually need the... I'm pretty sure this is an identical build from last game. He's got the... Stop on the uh, way, the double barracks, the double engineering bay. Yeah, all the buildings are in the right place. Uh, you know, like the add-ons, the double barracks. Lalash is going to macro hatch, which is slightly different. And Lalash is just... I know, he has this funky style. He hasn't gone for a third yet. Lalash went for this macro hatch as well in game one. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a good choice because, especially on Cloud Kingdom, it's quite awkward to take that third base. There's so many ways into it. And yes. it's so far away from the lateral, it's difficult. Um, especially for Zerg players. Whereas... The macro hatch gives you the benefits of the third. It means you can keep up your production. You can get your drone count nice and high. So when you do take your third, even if it's a couple of minutes later, you can instantly saturate it. And actually, Lush taking it down now. Um, oh. We've got an engagement here. The queens and roaches oh. getting taken out by hellions, um, which is not something you see too often. No, at all. And Happy actually running away one of those hellions to keep it alive. And this hatchery will now be forced to cancel. It will. And there aren't any... Uh any roaches apart from these little three, so they will have a hard time. But the Zerglins are running around to try and get a nice surround. Which, having said that, Lush did that in game. No, he wasn't Lush. Who was it who did that? No, it was Tyrius. Tyrius did that amazing little surround. That was there. so good. That was so good. Uh, thankfully, though, he does manage to push off the Hellions from his third to just save it and not force a cancel out, which is really important. You don't want to be cancelling your base. Um, and 11 drones just popped as well, so nice. Lelosh definitely just going macro crazy. Um, meanwhile, Happy just finished up his armory, so he can start those 2 2 upgrades. Um, Lelosh actually ahead in the upgrades at the moment. His 2 2 Ooh. already started, which is cool. Happy's going up his third command center as well now, so Lelosh needs to look at taking a fourth. Basically. Yes. And his third's just about to finish now, so he's not going to be thinking about that for a couple minutes at least. Having said that, if you do know that that base is coming out, you can be safe going for your fourth very, very quickly. Um, and you will see a lot of Zerg players do that, where they almost double expand all the time. Yeah, that is very true. Um, I feel like he doesn't want to do it just yet because he knows that some sort of aggression has come out from Happy. But if you look at Happy's natural, the wall was complete and the depots were up, so the Zerglins didn't get by, so he lost quite a lot of Zerglins. And it looks like he wants to get... A little bit of a flank on the units heading into the third of Happy. I feel like he will lose a lot of them or take too much damage. Happy is in an amazing spot. He's got himself into a nice little choke. The Zerglings can't get us around. The Hellions are protected. And he's lost a lot oh. there, Lelosh. He does. The Hellions do die, so now the Zerglings are a bit more effective than if the Hellions are still here. But with the Medivacs, uh, they are out of energy now, but the units just don't die. I know, and, and there's just so many see drones being killed. Second. I feel like we're gonna. Lalash is just gonna be like, ugh, and leave. The I don't know. He's, he's still trying to hold it, but if he loses his base, he's he's in such a tough spot now. Yeah, and this is what I was expecting. A little uh, elevator into the main. Lalash has taken this dude in return now. Lalash has also got his investors coming out any second. So while he's lost that third base, he should be able to stay in this game. He's not out by any means. 
Yeah. Then he's then I feel like he just lost so many units to trying to defend it, and then he lost it anyway. It just he's he's lost in a bad just part. under four times as much resources oh. as Happy. And all these overlords are positioned a bit wrong, but here comes the infestors. The fungal growth will go down, and now the chain fungals come. Then ah, oh, he loses an infestor to a lone marine that didn't get fungled. And that is not good. Some overlords getting picked off as well. It definitely feels like Lelush is in a bad place right now. Yeah, he is in a really bad place, especially now that the third command center of Happy has been is in it at the third and is being forced into a planetary. And now there's this little. Well, the main army now from Empire Happy is going to see the third base again, and Lalash. Oh, if finishes just before Lalash gets a chance to react. Some Zerglings are going to try and get us around, but I just feel like Lalash doesn't have enough units at the moment. But he yeah. gets a good fungal growth, but all the infestors picked off very, very quickly. Yep. That um, was great uh, target firing there by Happy. Happy has played this amazingly. Lovely little timing push. Um, and is now denying the new attempt at the third. Lelush trying to retake his normal third, but we will see a couple of Marauders just wander up there. A Marauder and a Medivac just going <laughs> yeah. to harass that, which, Pretty much. to be honest, Lelush is in just a terrible place right now. He is. Which is quite unfortunate because, like, last game was pretty epic, he played really well, and this game, like, that. It's pretty much the force that went for the third. It like it took out the defending army and then like the reinforcing army and then it killed the third and all the harvesters. Like if it just killed the armies, it wouldn't be so bad. But because it like the army that Lalash made to defend got annihilated and then obviously he couldn't defend and he lost more than he sh really should have. Well, the reason that went so badly for Lush was because the position Happy got into yeah. between the hatchery and the gas geyser which meant yeah. the Zerglings couldn't get us around and Lush had invested a lot to get up to infestors really quickly um, but they weren't quite out in time he still has quite a few infestors he has been uh, reproducing them but still lovely splits by Empire Happy he's not able to get more than 3-4 marines per fungal and a little stim I don't think he'll be able to take up the third this time it depends on his tank position, to be honest, but he has clumped yeah. himself up so badly. Um, uh, and the siege is a bit late. One of them gets sieged, the other one is not. There's also those infested Terrans out already. Um, this should get cleaned up by Lelush. Yeah. But Just about. In credit happy. to Lelush, where credit's due, he's getting that plus three melee attack and Adrenal Glands upgrade out now. He's got his hive done. But I have to say, Happy feels like he's just sitting back carefully at the moment and I like yeah. that I think that's a really good choice by Happy there um, he is moving out now but this is a very sizable force and if you look as well Happy has uh, units at pretty much every possible base Lalash could take he has the bottom right the top on the left uh, the, the fourth base that Lalash should try to take and then of course Happy's just floating down his own fourth as well now yeah. So oh, I didn't even pick that. I didn't even see that. And that will ma be made into a planetary as well. The other key thing is this third base for Lalash only has 120 HP left. Yeah. So that's gonna get that could get sniped down so easily. Like literally no by a hit. Yet. To be honest, um, um it's about Happy's to get hit out. Take it out incredibly quickly and he may almost pull back. He might do as much. <laughs> I, d I don't know if he'll try and push forward because obviously Lalush's army is still there. Um, but Lalush is actually. Sorry to interrupt. Lalush had some infested terror. Uh, infested borrowed behind the tanks, and he managed to take out like four tanks then, with the infested Terrans, which is really big. But of course, the ground army from Happy is still fairly large. Exactly. I mean, this is what I was saying earlier about some people invest too heavily in infestors, and while they're fantastic as a support oh. unit. They can't make up the bulk of your army. <laughs> we have a mana meal, <laughs> which is now repairing a medivax. And to be honest, this isn't looking good for Lelush. He's got the drones no. coming in as well. If for anyone wondering why Lelush is fighting literally to the bitter, bitter end, it's because this is a best of three and happy took game one. And ultimately, yeah. in the Antic attack, um, this is the semi final game. So whoever win this, wins this has a guaranteed 75 euros. Yes. Because that's second place. And first place is, of course, 125 euros. So, obviously. We have, we have two more command centers in production. Where the hell is. I can only see one in production. There's one uh, okay, above the his natural right. and one at the very bottom right. So, that'll take Happy up to a solid six bases. Meanwhile, Lelosh did try and get a Ling Rong by to the third, but that planetary fortress just annihilated everything. But he does manage to get a few things in. But there's the GG. And Happy will go on to the final.